outside here in the DC area, but I have a couple things planned for myself today. First thing major is I have my regular Botox appointment. Um, my Botox is completely worn off. I don't get it in my eyebrow, I mean my forehead or anything. I've gotten like little touches here, just baby Botox there. Like you can see if I make that little face. So there's some like what they call like bunny rabbiting and um, crow's feet, but here's the deal. I don't really get, I don't focus on Botox right there right now. My issue with my Botox is um, in my eyebrow. So if you can see, let me move to a white background. This eyebrow is slightly higher than this eyebrow because my Botox is worn off. Um, and I get Botox in my brow. So my brows should sit a little higher on my eyes to kind of weaken my face up. Also create more lid space right in here. And I always joke all the time that um, I inherited my father's eyebrows and like this part of my, my face is my dad and he looks like Eddie Munster and like the little boy Eddie Munster. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's probably because you are not close to 40 or up. So Google that for yourself. Um, and my, my eyebrows will sit like this. That's how my dad's eyes look. And I just look sad all the time and like angry, even though I'm like, that's just my face. People are like, why are you not smiling? Cause this is my face. Like, what are you talking about? Why are you angry? This is my face. And I constantly have to defend my face to people without Botox. So anyway, um, my eyes should be looking like this. It's a little bit more of a like, snatched look without it looking like that now defunct trend of fox eyes it's not giving it that but it's just giving like hi um the sun is up i'm awake i'm alert i'm not upset so anyway my botox is worn out so i have that appointment today that i'm going to take you guys along with me on um and then i'm actually going to turn this whole video into just a regular skincare treatment a luxury skincare treatment the things that i do the tools that i use um, the products that I use, all that jazz. I am about a week and a half out, two Mondays out from my 38th birthday. So I am, you know, gonna go in hyperdrive with the things that I want done. This is my regular skin. I am not really wearing foundation, not, not really wearing foundation, but I'm not wearing foundation at all. Um, I just didn't feel like wearing foundation this year. And I actually bought, um, I bought a new foundation. I use Caudalie, not Caudalie. What the hell is it? Shantikai. Shantikai. Um, I bought my regular color foundation, not even thinking. It was like two days before summer really hit and I was going to get super tanned and I'm not used the damn foundation all summer. And it's an expensive foundation. It's like an 80 some dollar foundation. So I'm preserving it and waiting for my summer tan to go away. Um, so I'm focused strictly on skincare right now. No color, none of that, not really makeup, just good skin. So um, yeah, like I said, Botox today. I think that's probably all I'm going to get unless while I'm in there, he's like, hey, let me touch this up. Because he also, the, the place where I go, um, my injector named Wasim, he is also, he's my injector for everything. So let me just quickly share with you guys that I do have cheek filler. I do have jaw filler. I do have a little bit of chiller, filler in my chin to balance out the jaw. And I do have filler in my lips. So he is my guy for all things aesthetics with my face um, as injectables are concerned so if he sees my face and he's like look let me just give you a little here and there then we'll add that on but otherwise this is it um so yep i'll take you on the ride Hi. hey how are you good how are you good i'm tanise i haven't met you before oh, nice how are you? you good yeah. had a 12. What's up? You guys ready? Yeah. <laughs> Look at me. Can I bring this in? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right in, okay? Yeah. Okay. First of all, I feel like my eyebrows are uneven. Like one is definitely higher. Yeah. yeah. What the hell? Like yeah. Okay. So there's that. Do you see anything in here? Like one of my jaws looks heavier or whatever this is, one side. Have you ever talked about Kaibella here? Of course. 
course. Okay. No, because you know why? Now I'm looking at. You could find five million. Of course I am. <laughs> you could do that. Okay. Which one's gonna give me what I'm looking for? Uh. Th I would lean towards it because you're gonna need i mean if, and i don't mind we can do a few quick uploads you're gonna need a few of them so it just depends on time really a few of them meaning like three but it's a series of them six weeks apart or one certain month and does that but can i come up this high what oh the, the fat removal uh, yeah, yeah 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 but i'm home anyway yeah and what will that really no. do right like what happens to your skin? With the removal? Yeah. It can retract. It Am I going to have like dangly skin then? You could. Oh, geez. And I'm going to have a whole other problem. Right. But with Kybella, at least you form a little scar tissue, so it retracts it back a little bit. So how do they know whether or not you're a good candidate with your skin? Yeah. Your skin will color, so your skin will retract back fine. Not worry about it. But I mean, Kybella might be. I mean, if you're if you're okay with it being a marathon, I would do Kybella. Cost wise, which one is more effective? Because you you're looking at. I don't know what they're charging for. Because I was I, I already had it used a. Used to be cheap. Yeah, before people started liking it. Yeah. Like yesterday, I had a consultation with uh, what's his face? Chris. Love that body DC. Oh okay, yeah. Not for that though. Oh. I need to get a tummy tuck. Okay. But um, I saw that he's like doing them all over town now. This. Yeah. So I was like, ooh. I don't know how much it is. So Doctor, I used to send you a Doctor Kurt Stani for that. He used to do it in office, and he used to be like eighteen to twenty one hundred. Mm. That to me is pretty cost effective. Right. Um, the Kybal is going to be about fifteen hundred. Okay. Ish. Maybe less. Okay. But. Am I seeing something crazy before I decide? Is one of these sides really heavier? I can't. Everyone has a side though. Okay. You probably think this one's heavier, but I actually think it's this one that's heavier. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. So what am I seeing that's making it probably, but it's really this one? Because this one you have less volume here, so it looks like this one's hanging more. This one has more volume over here. It's like a little chubby here. Mm -hmm. But this one's hanging more just because it's not chubby to go to give it that support. But either way, you can cut Bella this up to here. And then that one can go in. Okay. So if this is lipo wise and or Surgically wise, anything more than eighteen to twenty one hundred, I would say it's not worth it. Okay. take this I can't see with these new sunglasses on they're like the polarized ones and I can't see anything so anyway Botox um, takes a couple of days to settle um, so I can't be like upside down today while it's settling but that's fine I don't even have a sex life or anything that would have me upside down so I'll be fine on that um, but it takes a couple of days to settle and once it's done it's there for a couple more months. When I went to check out, guess how much I owe today? 
zero dollars why because of relationships it's super imperative to find an amazing injector and stick with them so i typically send a lot of my friends over here to wasim to get their work done whether they're doing botox filler whatever boom so when i check out i might have certain amount of credits um, for botox and today for my birthday Botox, I paid zero dollars. Um, but he and I, I had cut the camera off before we um, started talking about it. But he and I were just talking about the importance of injector loyalty. And it is so wildly important to find your person, stay with them. I mean, y'all, this is, this is a foreign substance in your face. This is not like a, a bad haircut. And honestly, we know what that does to anyway right like you probably shouldn't be cheating on your hairstylist either but um yeah these this is toxin in your face these are different acids different um substances in your filler and why the hell would you be like on groupon or just like all over instagram doing whatever like find your person and stick with them plus like they're building the aesthetics of your face like this guy knows the the makeup of my face like what my cheeks look like what my jaws look like how how they how they have progressed or what is going to happen to them if you're like cheating and going to somebody over and over and over or different over and over and over again what the hell do they know they see you one time you're out and you go to somebody else you never really learn your face and really like can build it up especially if you're doing if you're if you're trying to do something like progressively right like um it's not a one-time thing so let's say i want to build my jaw out i kind of probably should stay with the same person during that journey of like building my jaw like because it might take a couple syringes and maybe i can't afford that right now or if i get my lips done all the time right like if you want your lips to look the same all the time you should go to the same person all the time so anyway that's really important but um yeah so that's stop number one i'm gonna go grab some lunch um that i can't even eat until three o'clock because I'm back on my regular fasting schedule from three to seven. And let's see where else the day takes us with skincare. I'm gonna jump back on and say what that should have cost me. So I get about 18 units um, for both brows. He charges $14 per unit. So that's about $250 for just what I had done to lift my brows up. Um, most women will get, you know, maybe that, some other units around their crow's feet and here, their forehead, wherever. So that's how the math is done. Botox is really not wildly as, as expensive as people think it is. Um, so that's the normal rate. That's the, that's the street rate here, $14 a unit in this area. Um, yeah, so do your, do your research, price it out. Um, know what the, the average is for the area where you are at and do not pay something ridiculously higher over that and do not go ridiculously lower than that because you're going to get what your ass pays for. Okay, now I'm gone for real. Bye. same exact coffee same exact stuff but more efficient they I mean they're so bad that I get I left a Yelp review and I'm not one of those people like I don't even have time to be on Yelp leaving reviews but I'm like the amount of time it takes them to make a coffee is ridiculous but anyway it's really good coffee um Dolceza you're all over DC where am I at? I'm in the Mosaic District. This is in Fairfax. 
Virginia, right outside of DC. And um, also, it's just a black coffee. Because obviously that's what I drink now as a um, faster until my fast period is up. But the damn black coffee is $3. My damn lid's not even on. This is crazy. Now you gotta, oh my God. See, that's, this is what I'm talking about. This is why we're on Yelp. Because we do shit like this. We pay $3 for coffee and then we don't put the lid on the damn coffee right. Like, does this even go on here? Now, what if I would have dropped this coffee for $3.39? Like, hot coffee at wherever. Their masses are getting their coffees like at Dunkin' or somewhere. It's probably $1.50. Anyway, yes, I can't fault anybody but myself for, excuse me, having ridiculously expensive taste and everything down to black coffee. But anyway, um, I actually have a meeting that I need to get back um, for. I am not off today. I am still a working girl. So I am going to grab this meeting. It's a quick meeting. And they get on with the rest of my regularly scheduled programming for today. But yeah, so until we meet again. Okay, gang. So we're back. Um, the Botox is in. It's settled. It's been about two days since I was last on camera. And so it is placed where it's going to be. It does take a couple of days for Botox to get settled into your face. So now I'm going to take you through my evening routine. It's not exactly nighttime. I'm not going straight to bed um, after this. However, I'm not going else anywhere else today. So here we are. This will actually help me like get in the groove of like chilling out for the rest of the night. Um, so I'm going to take you through like a a full service routine if I hadn't done this for like a week. Ordinarily, some of these things might actually kind of step out. I don't do everything every single night. Um, so that's how that's going. Oh, let me talk to you about my brows real quick. Cause you're gonna notice this and be like, what the fuck, did she not know that? Yes, I do know this. So I have a habit of like flexing my left eye. I'll like smize a lot, thanks to Tyra Banks. And so it's gotten this brow, like I do this. And so now this eyebrow um, is used to, cause the muscle is now trained, right? And I get um, Botox in my eyebrow. So do you see how my eyebrows are uneven? Like this brow is actually higher than this brow. That's because my ass needs to control all this yanking of the muscle and just let my forehead relax. Just get used to, maybe I need to sleep more and just get used to relaxing. I probably need to do a little bit more massaging in here. I'm going to use my um, Gua Sha this evening. So I need to really focus on bringing this one up even higher. But yeah, that's what's happening in there. All right. So anyway, my hair is all over the place. I'm getting my hair done in the morning. Cannot wait because this bun is killing outfit vibes like it was never supposed to be um my permanent hairstyle this was how i was gonna get through to the next thing like for two weeks and now i've been in this goddamn bun for 10 months so anyway skin boom first things first our deep cleansing oil from dhc there's that um no matter if i have makeup on or not i will use something to get the day off. So even if I don't have on foundation, which I don't have on anything right now, nothing, um, I want to use something because as a pre-cleanse, because I have been outside. I probably already have SPF on and oil is the only thing that can break down SPF. You can spend like a hundred hours using your creamy cleanser, baby, it's not going anywhere. So you need to use the oil to get this off especially if you have on the foundation, the concealers, the everything, oil cleanse, double cleanse always. And even if I don't have anything on, it's gonna remove all the, like the oil buildup from that day. So um, I love this DHC one, you can order it. I suggest ordering DHC through um, um, Derm Store because this is one of those brands that has a tendency to be duped and it will be some bullshit olive oil getting mailed to your house if you order it off of Amazon. 
just in general, do not order skincare off of Amazon. Order it through your reputable dealers. If the brand doesn't say they sell over there, then don't be fooling around with it. So anyway, it's just a pump and it's oil to dry skin. Do not pre-wet your face. So I rub this on my hand and then take it in everywhere. I wish I had on makeup to really show you how it breaks down the makeup but it does a beautiful job. So take it over my eyelids. Normally I wear a lot of um, thick mascara, thick black eyeliner. It'll break it all down. Just kind of get in there and get everywhere. And then once you feel like you have gotten that oil everywhere, now you can wet your face and it will give you a nice little milky consistency. See that? And now you're ready to, oh, it's everywhere, right? And now you're ready to um, go in with your cleanser. Once upon a time, I used to spend a lot of money on my cleansers, like expensive cleansers, especially when I was just now getting into real skincare, but I'm not doing that now. I'm using bar soap. I had a Neutrogena bar of soap sitting around my house one day because my daughter, let me preserve the water, my daughter had bought one, or maybe I had bought one. Somebody bought one trying to do some soap soap brows when you, you take the spoolie and lift your brows all the way up. And I happened to run out of cleanser. And I looked under my sink and I was like, oh my gosh, there is a Neutrogena bar soap. This is what I'm using because I'm not running to the store. That was like three bar soaps ago. And it's like nostalgia. I love it. So I like a creamy cleanser. I know I like a creamy soapy based cleanser, even though this doesn't have any real soap in it. Um, I know a lot of girls like cream cleansers or gel cleansers. No, like I want to feel squeaky clean. Like I am washing Tupperware. Like that's how I want my face to feel. I want to be like, <laughs> and I don't care what dermatologists say. I don't care what estheticians say. That's the feeling um, that I like to have in my skin. And ultimately this is all boils down to how you like to feel because um, this is a self care thing as well. It's not just cleansing and moving on because if it were that simple, I would have thrown on some dish soap on my face or some body wash and moved on. This is, this is all about feeling just as much as it is about the cleans cleanliness of your skin. I do use a washcloth because I like to steam my face for one moment. So I just let that sit. Oh, I'll probably do this way more times than any esthetician would advise because I just love the feeling of hot water sitting on your skin. So good. Whew. Make sure you're getting all the way back to them ears because cleanser will hide out somewhere underneath that neck. You know, your neck is the first, like one of the first places that start to really age. And once your neck goes, it's it's game over. Like, have you ever seen anybody get a neck lift? No, not really. I mean, maybe, but not really, right? Like you've seen people getting all their face, faces snatched. Go look at Kris Jenner. Go look at her neck. Her neck and her face do not look the same. All right, so onto the fun stuff, onto a mask. Let me show you what this mask is. It is Mask Vivant from Biologique Recherche, brand du jour, like this is where it's at, okay? Um, mask Vivant is a brown mask and it's a rebalancing face mask. It does everything. It's got like all the acids in it, the lactic acid, the blah, 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 blah. And it's in French, so I wish I could read you the directions. Basically, put it on your skin, leave it on for 20 minutes, and watch how magnificent your life changes. Like, not even just your skin. This little piece of hair is, like, killing me. 
It's not just your skin, like your life will actually change. It brings all the boys to the yard. But here's the catch. Boom, baking soda. You wanna mix it with baking soda. This next step is not that fabulous. I don't have like the, the cute dish like Kourtney Kardashian has in her bathroom. So let me show you guys what I keep in my bathroom on my counter. When people come over to my bathroom, they're probably like, why the fuck does Denise have this? And I know she doesn't cook anything, guys. This is why I have this in my bathroom, because I don't cook anything. Um, this is my mixing cup for all of my, <laughs> for all of my masks. So there's the mask, it's in there, that's all you need. You listen to the ancestors as you sprinkle in a little bit of your baking soda. It's really gonna activate it. Let me see if I can show you again. It's like, I mean, who's measuring? Do you think? A person with a um, measuring cup in their bathroom has measuring spoons of course not and I just give it a swirl with my fingertip because why would I do anything else and then I apply generously all over my face mask vivant will last you a bit of time however this ain't no $20 face mask so we use this wisely um slightly sparingly like i won't put a whole ton of it in this jar until um i know i'm going to use it so it's like a single little squirt and if it doesn't cover my face then i'll squirt some more but we are not going um crazy with this because this ain't the cheapest okay and about biologic research it's a french brand um, you can get it at two spas in the U.S. There is a spa here where I live at in Alexandria, Virginia called Sarah Akram or Akram um, Skin something and she carries the brand and then Rescue Spa which is in New York City and Philadelphia both carry this brand. You can shop online with them. Um, a lot of people will talk about how not good smelling the stuff smells but honestly i mean i think a lot of um american girls are used to skincare containing fragrances artificial fragrances and wanting their shit to smell like food and just um like perfume this smells like skincare to me i'm not looking for my skincare to smell edible at all don't forget these faces this type of stuff gets missed all the time i see a lot of people putting on face masks and then like not putting on face masks i'm like bitch what are you guys doing i don't even know if i can say that on youtube but i'm like look you gotta actually put the face mask on the face okay um and we put it on our neck if I were rich and I wanted to buy another one of these faster than I already do, I would take it all the way down to my decollete because that is important. But we're just giving a little neck action. I am about a week out, a week and a half out for my 38th birthday. And the buck stops here. I am not trying to be on here um, at 48 looking any different than i do today so we have to preserve i think it was the honorable sean combs who said we preserve the sexy and that's what we're doing um this is going to sit here for like 20 minutes you go you live your life you have a glass of rosé you have a glass of champagne you have a glass of water if you're like me and you were forever fasting in your life you just have a something and then you watch the magic unfold okay we're back the mask is a little tacky but it certainly has done its thing it's been 20 minutes i have left mask on for like an hour before and fallen asleep I'm not advising that. It will be extremely hard to get off. Leave my skin with 
some water on it. So I'm, we don't need to dry everything off. We're not trying to be bone dry here. The next step, what are we doing? Um, if you are an esthetician, go ahead and close your eyes because ta-da, we are micro rolling at home. Micro, yeah, micro needling. Say micro rolling. So I got like a hundred of these. I even have one for my body. Um, that one doesn't get used as much. 90% alcohol, pre-cleanse, you're ready to rock and roll. So I use this with a little acid. Today's acid of choice is gonna be the ordinary lactic acid. So that's what we're using. Um, this is already clean. Here's how we do this thing, okay? I go up and down, vertical. So it's a horizontal, vertical. I might go diagonal. The key is to not drag this thing. These are actually needles on here, okay? Hence micro needling. So if you're just like, you're gonna damage your skin and then you're gonna have a problem, you're gonna be mad at me, you're mad at yourself, you're gonna go into a either dermatology office or um, an esthetician's joint and have to spend major bucks because you're probably gonna have hyperpigmentation, which you wouldn't have if you use this properly because this also creates small tears in your skin, which make your skin hurry up and repair itself. That's what you're looking for, that baby skin to constantly be happening on your face. That's the freshness of your skin that you don't have to spend a lot of time scrubbing your face to death with. So if you do a lot of chemical exfoliating, you will be exactly where you need to be without spending a lot of time um, physically exfoliating with all those like damaging scrubs and stuff like that. Every now and then you might need to do a little, uh, maybe like once a week, once every other week. But anyway, acids are where it's at. So here's how we do this. Again, I am not an esthetician. I used to use a couple estheticians, but that's not my jam right now. I know what I'm doing at home, so I try to maintain most of my stuff at home unless I want like a luxury experience in a place that's playing the music and the oils and the, all that. But baby, this is how it's going down, okay? So um, first things, I'm gonna go in. So I'm gonna start microneedling on my forehead vertically across the entire length of my forehead. I'm not dragging the tool, I'm just making moving lines in a vertical direction across my forehead and then coming back in the opposite direction, moving back horizontally. And that's just to make sure that every part of my forehead is getting some of this needle action happening. So when I put the serum on, I'm making sure that it definitely gets penetrated. Moving slowly, so you're just ensuring, well, I'm not really, really moving totally slowly, but I'm being cautious, right? So that way I'm not dragging the device. You do not want to just scrape this across your face. You will have to create more damage. Um, and then I'm going to go in with some serum and place it on. Normally I do move in sections. So that's what you're seeing here. And the dropper should not touch your skin. So you're not cross contaminating. Okay, going around the eyes, not all like to my lash line, not on my lids, just where the like crow's feet would be, taking a diagonal around my the contours of my cheek, up through my nose. Obviously, I'm doing my entire face here, but I'm I personally am really concerned with the places on my face that it would naturally create lines. So the crow's feet and the corners of your eyes towards you know your hairline. Um, the number 11s in between your brow and then there is your um, frown your smile lines or your frown lines or whatever you want to call them it's just that little indention and in, on the outside of your um, mouth so one side of my face ends up being a little deeper those lines are a little deeper on the on the side that you see the left side so just really focus on that so I get deep in there so that way when I put the serum on, it can penetrate deeper, the hyaluronic serum that I'm going to apply. And just making sure that every direction is hit. Again, moving in some sections here. So one cheek before the other cheek, obviously. You don't have to move super slow, but you do need to be careful. That's the takeaway here. Like we're not creating further damage. This is an actual needle. Um, so we're not playing around here because you're trying to repair your skin, not create more damage. So all the way around. All 
All right, this is my superstar product. It is Lotion P50 by Biologique Recherche. Let me see if I can get even closer into here. Lotion P50. Friends, it is not a lotion. It is like a watery toner type of situation. Um, let's take like a moment to really go over this because I have some best practices for this that the estheticians that are going to recommend this at spa <laughs> i sound really nervy to like try to over educate more than the estheticians that actually use this and are trained on this product and sell this product and probably formulated this product but baby listen they are also salespeople, and i am not trying to give extra money all the time this product is like a hundred some dollars in the full size which I don't even know how many ounces it is. It's probably like a fatter version of this fat water, which I don't use. Um, but this is the trial size. It will last you nine to 12 months. We're not playing any games over here with spending money. Here's how you make it last. On their site, they are gonna tell you to put a couple, um, put a couple um, drops of this on a cotton pad. That's your first big mistake. Really the only big mistake if you use this. What we're doing here is putting it straight into our hand and then pressing it on. Putting any product onto a cotton pad is the number one way to waste your product because it's gonna get absorbed into your cotton pad or even if you use a muslin cloth or if you use anything else. Listen, if you want your product to be not wasted, put it on your skin and not on some damn a tool. We're not doing that. But what does this have in it? P50 lotion. 1970. Here's the deal. Um, P50 lotion is the regular lotion. The bomb one, 1970, has is the one you can't even buy in the United States for real, for real, because it has phenol in it. And phenol is an acid that was, um, I guess, blocked out by the FDA because they blocked out everything that you should, probably should be using. But in Europe, particularly Paris, where this guy is from, you can use it. It is life-changing. This whole thing, life-changing. It's got about every acid in here that you want on your skin in one product. Let me read it to you. So you've got lactic acid, um, niaminoside, malic acid. There's some vinegar in here, salicylic acid, um, root, blah, 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 some other things in here, but I just really want to go over the acids, right? Um, there's some sulfur. Um, this right here is the bomb and there's some other products that you need some of the herbs and the root extracts and all that stuff but those are the really the acids so anyway um, and like I said do not use this with the retinol so that's why we're not using that other um, CeraVe tonight this is a AHA a BHA these are your acids they do not play well with retinols so this is what we're doing one, two, three, four. We're not really counting because we're wasteful over here. I am an American. And boop, straight on to my skin. Now my face is open. My pores are ready to receive this guy because I've already micro needled, making sure I'm getting everywhere that I want all of this goodness. And boom. Now, if I left my skin like this, I would be fine. I will be totally fine. But guess what I'm not gonna do? Leave it like this. You know why? Because there's more steps and we're doing basically a Korean 25 step skincare situation. Now we're going in with that lovely lactic acid and just doing a couple drops pop up. And because why would we not use so much acid? Now this is the part in this video that you might want to be like, bitch, you're doing too much. Yes, of course I do too much. Um, when I worked in skincare, my coworkers affectionately named me Freddy Krueger because I was like, more acid the better. But I'm telling you what, I know what my skin likes. You have to listen to your skin. My skin is like, girl, you want acid. It's not talking about you want muds and all the organic. Don't give me nothing natural. I'm never asking for a natural skincare. I want effective skincare. If it works, that's what we want. All right, there's my lactic acid. So that's how I'm going to get all my cell turnover that's how i'm getting clear creamy radiant glowy skin now hyaluronic acid 
boom, you guys know all about this. Everybody's screaming hyaluronic acid. We're using this. Did you know that you can layer acids? Of course you did. If you didn't, just shake your head, I guess. You are using, you can layer them. That's what we're doing. You can use more than one, okay? Hyaluronic, it is a, an acid that your body already contains. It's why you do not shrivel up and become a skeleton every single day. So it retains moisture 2,000 times its weight in moisture, in fact. And so here's how this works. First of all, you do not have to have dry skin to use hyaluronic acid. These are misconceptions. You need to have skin to use hyaluronic acid. And if you have skin, voila, you're in the right place. So um, this one at The Ordinary also contains, um, it's 2% hyaluronic and then B5, which is a, a vitamin. But here's the key with hyaluronic acid. First of all, you don't put hyaluronic acid on your skin when your skin is dry. You put hyaluronic acid on your skin when your skin is damp. Why? Because it grabs the moisture molecules that are already there. If you have gone and dried down your skin and you put hyaluronic acid on it, guess what? There's nothing for those molecules to grab onto. So you're just putting moisture. We don't even know what you're doing at that point. So boom, my skin is still tacky. Do you see that? This is a perfect time to put hyaluronic acid on my face. In fact, at this step, I just got rid of it, but I used to have like a little, um, like a face spray. Perfect time to go in and do this. Even if you want to add a little bit more water, boom, boom. This is where we're going with this. Get it all in there, right? So we're gonna let this chill while we give the eyes some love. Let me rinse my hands. All right, eye cream. Like I said, I'm almost 38. I'm not playing around out here. Um, some people will argue whether or not you need an eye cream. I mean, you can argue whether or not you need anything, but nine times out of 10, the people who are arguing that they do not wanna need use eye cream need an eye cream so they don't argue with those this eye situation is like the gem of what's happening because you know how much botox is it's not the most expensive but if you do not have to use it everywhere on your face don't okay so what we're going to use first is shantikai nano gold eye serum this is an eye serum Boop, 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 eye serum. What does an eye serum do? Same shit a regular face serum does. It penetrates deeper into whatever area. It has way more concentration of the good stuff. This has like 14 karat gold in it. I mean, I, I don't know everything that this thing has in it, but it is a rock star product. It's a gajillion dollars, so I preserve. It feels really good on, and then I'll go on with my eye cream after that, okay? So, you can even put these things in the refrigerator, the roller balls. I don't do that because if I put it in my refrigerator, baby, I would forget it was in there and it'll never get used. So here we go. This one right here is formulated to go all over. Every eye cream is not designed to go on your eyelids. Did you know that? It has to be like ophthalmology, um, ophthalmologist approved because if it sat on your lid and got into your eyelid, could do things to your eye and then you'd be blind or something like that we don't want that so we let that simmer now my skin is where it needs to be however we have one more step in the eye world which is our cream i am using a dhc cq10 eye cream this thing has been through the ringer let me show you a little bit closer up there's that it's been through the ringer as you can see i love this guy i have some other eye creams too like um, Darfon, Stipple Skin Plus. Listen, I'm a big fan of eye cream having a lot of slip and emollients. And if it feels like, like it ain't doing anything for real, I'm not with it. This one right here is everything. So take your, your ring finger, your middle finger, be really delicate with your application. And it's just a pat pat swirl. Um, nice pat pat. I mean, we're not, we're not being dramatic here because 
The eye area is very sensitive. And the last thing you wanna do is start pulling, tugging and all that and encouraging problems in this area. All right, so our skin is almost done. We have already micro needle. We got our serums on and boom, we're ready to almost lock it down. So it is our nighttime situation. Here's what we're gonna go in with. A little Jet Glow Cream from N61. This guy right here has neuropeptides. It's an anti-wrinkling, retexturizing glow cream. So here is the Superstar Serum that wasn't in the other, or the Superstar Acid that wasn't in the other acids that I've already used, glycolic. I'm sure you've heard of glycolic. It is a heavy hitter, it's everywhere. But these neuropeptides and this guy right here um, is going to mimic Botox. So, Listen, if you get Botox, like me, and you want to preserve, this is all you need, okay? We're not, I know, I know some of these videos are like showing people like squeezing products. Listen, if you spend $6 on products, you can squeeze, you can squeeze, you can waste, you can do everything you want to do. But if you are spending your actual coin in an actual store, we preserve, okay? A nice little rub and upward strokes at the forehead going out from heart center all the way out but guess what we're not done moisturizer is not it now if you wanted to stop here be my guest i mean no one's gonna judge you you can take it down to your neck nobody's gonna judge you here you can tie your hair and hit the hay but because we are extra and because we care about sculpted faces and because we have upside down and inside out eyebrows, we go the extra mile. This guy here, boom, a jade, wow, what was I about to say? I was about to say a, um, a jade roller. This is a gua sha. I've already cleansed it, but I do like it to be warm, so I'm going to heat up the water a bit. You know, with these stones, you can leave them out in the sun. You can, um, like in your window seal, you can get them hot, you can get them cold, how you charge stone, because they do carry energy. If you're a believer of such, which you should be because it's science. So we're just getting that hot, okay? Let me let the water keep going a little bit more while that now, how what we're doing with this is we are sculpting our face, taking out any of that extra puffiness from today before we get ready to lay down and let our body completely rejuvenate. So we want our face, God, this is really bothering me. This, I'm like wanting to record the rest of it like this. Um, we're sculpting our face. So we're focusing on our cheekbones, our forehead, keeping our forehead line free, coming into the jaw because this is sexy, creating the jawline. So you have this guy going in there like, mm, mm, mm. like you want the snatch face. That's what this is gonna give you. But let's be real here. These are not permanent results. You have to do this like all the time, night, day, every day. If you want permanent results, you have to take your ass to see an injector. But this is good to flush out all the puffiness, all the buildup in your skin. It's a little oil. What did I just put on? The Ordinary Rose Hip Seed Oil. Use any oil you like, just as long as it has some slip. Do not go in here using some dry oil. It's not gonna work. So just press the oil. And why did I put oil on my skin? after moisturizer because oil locks in everything so everything that i've already put on my skin up until this point will go nowhere it's stuck now boom it's like a door can't go anywhere it's done finito so it's locked for the rest of the night okay so let's get the oil everywhere my water should be good and toasty and then we're going to start the magic show now we're nice and hot i don't care if this is wet because the water is not gonna hurt anything. All right, this is hot. It's like a conductor of heat, okay? So this long side right in here, here we go. 
Start taking this up the chin from the mouth all the way up to the ear. Run this like two or three times. Use this side, Let's sculpt the jawline, hold. Same thing with your eye. Come in, really getting that cheekbone again, holding it all the way up. Look at that. That neck, everything goes up. You do not want to push your neck down. That is how you look. You'd give yourself the Benjamin Button if you were 22 years old and you were pushing your neck down. You're going to look 72 in a couple of months. So do not do that to yourself. And then up in here, this is critical for me right now so I can bring this brow. You see how I was already lifting that brow up? Because I naturally am like that. I need to chill. All right. So just apply some pressure. Boom. And then we're going in. And doing that on the other side i want to get this hot again because i've lost some of that heat this feels good too like this is relaxing now you're doing this to yourself cool imagine if somebody else was doing this to you and there was like candles and music and stuff like that like you can recreate that but you know and obviously if i wasn't talking to you guys this process would go a lot faster but whew, this feels so good I have big cheeks. I've always had full cheeks. It's been like a thing since I was a kid. I forget what kids used to call me, but my cheeks have always been this full. And so I've spent a lot of time trying to like sculpt my face as an adult and not look so full faced and all the other type of stuff. It's always a battle, but this has helped. You know, I have to be transparent. The filler in my cheekbones have helped. The filler in my jawline have helped. Everything has helped. All right, a little bit coming down the center. My brow. All right, guys. Ta-da! That is skincare for the night. Listen, after this, you tie your scarf on. I wear a little fragrance to bed about that. Here's what I'm using right now. Ooh, 27 from Le Labo, spritz, spritz. And then you are feeling good. You are bathed, you are smelling good. You are going to bed with all the goodness that is beautiful skin. And you wake up tomorrow morning and you can be like, who is she? Who is that? Who is she? It's you because you've invested time in your face Voila. So this is where we are at with that. Um, this is my nighttime routine. I hope that you enjoyed. Maybe you'll pick up some of these products. Maybe you'll let me know what products that you're using that I need to put into my regimen. And there will possibly be a daytime routine that will include all my little makeup tips and tricks, which is like very minimal. Like I'm a natural makeup girl by all means. Um, so thank you for watching and Remember to subscribe and let other people know, hey, come on over here and watch this routine. Until next time, guys. Bye.